Hey, what's up everyone? Koban Ramani 456 here today, starting a new playthrough on a Nintendo GameCube game. This is a game that many people have asked for for the past couple of years, and I've always been like, nope, never gonna do this game, you know, absolutely not, without a doubt, not going to do it. But, I've finally caved, as so many people have asked me to where I've decided, you know what, I'm gonna do it, as the fans have spoken. So here it is. But seriously though, I can't believe I'm doing this game. Um, like I said, I seriously thought I never would. But, <laughs> oh yeah, um, we're going to display this in progressive mode. But um, yeah, so I hope y'all are excited for, for all the people who did ask me to do this playthrough. And there we go, that was the opening cutscene for Shadow the Hedgehog. Now I know that I did an April Fool's joke yesterday, and a lot of people thought that um, I wasn't going to be doing this game, but I am actually doing it. But before I do, go ahead and get on into this game. Kind of want to explain a few things, kind of, you know, lay down some ground rules and all that stuff or whatever. But um, if y'all are excited about uh, me doing this playthrough, make sure to go ahead and hit that like button. It really, really helps out a ton. Can't thank you all enough for all the support. And uh, let's see if we can get this video to 2,000 likes for this playthrough. I think that'd be really, really awesome if we could actually hit that. But... Alright, so here's how this playthrough is going to work out. Um, this playthrough is mostly as it's a game that, you know, a ton of you all have requested me to do. Um, this is basically going to rely on you all. So, as you all know, this game has multiple endings, like a ton of stories. Like, I believe there are like 10 to 12 mandatory endings that you have to do in order to unlock the final secret ending of the game. And that's a lot. Like, you can only play Westopolis so many times until you actually get extremely tired of it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this playthrough story by story. And over time, I'm going to see how many people are still watching who are still interested in this and still want me to keep on continuing this playthrough. And if there are a ton of people who still want me to keep on doing this, you know, I'll continue on and do the next story, so forth and so on. So I'm just going to do it story by story, kind of gauge and see how many people want me to do this playthrough. And if enough of you all, or if a lot of you all want me to keep on doing it, then I'll keep on doing it. So this is basically for you all, and, uh, you know, I hope you all enjoy this playthrough. But um, also another thing, um, this is just a heads up for uh, younger viewers, this is a game that has mild language, so there is cussing and all that stuff. Um, I know most people on YouTube probably won't care, but I do know that a large um, amount of my audience is younger viewers. So just wanted to give a heads up to let you all know that this game is for, you know, older audiences, and uh, who knows, maybe because, you know, this game, it's... 
Yeah, it can kind of be rage-inducing sometimes. I may even slip up and say something, so just a heads up. But anyway, uh, yeah, just wanted to alert my younger viewers. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and start off a new game right here. And the uh, question of the day for this video is, let me know in the comments below what you all think about this game. Do you like it? Are there certain flaws about it? And, uh, you know, what was your first reaction to this game when you first saw it released? I'm going to actually talk about that in a second, but... We're going to go ahead and uh, start a new game. Shadow the Hedgehog. Why does that name haunt me? It's the only thing I can remember. And that gruesome image. Maria! Who am I? And why can't I remember anything? And who is this Maria? Shadow, and what are you talking about? Just what was that all about? If he says he knows the truth about who I am, then like it or not, I have to believe him. The only way I'm gonna get the secrets to my past is to get those Chaos Emeralds. Alright, so we saw the opening cutscene right there to where Shadow still has amnesia like he did in Sonic Heroes as uh, he was supposed to die in Sonic Adventure 2, but because so many fans wanted Shadow to come back, Sega decided to revive him, give him amnesia, and now they have the perfect excuse to make a game just for Shadow, Shadow the Hedgehog, to where we have to find out who and what the ultimate life form is. And here we are in Westopolis Zone. Born and raised on the playground was where I spent most of my days. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop. But anyway, um, I guess I'll go and talk about the gameplay for this game. Um, Shadow pretty much controls exactly the same way he did in uh, Sonic Heroes, to where he has a homing attack, he runs exactly the same way he did before. He's got the sliding kick, to where you see right there, he can slide. But one thing they did was that they gave him combat moves, to where he can do punches and kicks. And he has the spin dash, but the biggest change in addition to this game that blew away the entire Sonic fan base is that Shadow can actually wield weapons and guns. See right there, look at this. We just killed that soldier right there with a the gun. The reason why they did this is because they wanted Shadow to basically be his own franchise, to have his own line of video games, to where, you know, Shadow would be the edgier version of Sonic, to where Sonic would um, basically target, you know, a younger audience, but Shadow would be for the more mature audience, the, the audience that can handle, you know, cussing, you know, hearing damn every single second. <laughs> and um, also, uh, you know, people who liked gun games, since Call of Duty was kind of getting big around this time. But since Shadow the Hedgehog didn't do so well, that never actually came to reality. Honestly, though, I really don't have that many problems with the gunplay. Like, it's not that bad. It just, you know, it's different. But since it's auto, you know, it auto aims, you know, you just have to get close to an enemy and Shadow will automatically aim onto an enemy. It's really not that bad at all, so I don't really have too many problems with the gunplay. Probably um, my biggest complaint about this game, if I could actually pick up this weapon, 
is that, uh, you know, the, the gameplay is a bit slippery. In fact, if you thought Sonic Heroes was slippery, this is even slipperier. Like, it's that bad. Like, how much you will slip and slide all over the place. Um, and one thing, fun fact by the way, is that um, the voice actor for uh, Black Doom's Eye is actually the same voice actor who did Goku's voice in Dragon Ball Z, which is kind of cool. But um, once you fill up the gauges on the top screen, you can take advantage of Shadow's Chaos abilities, like Chaos Blast right there. You fill up his Chaos Blast gauge after you take out, you know, good and good guys. So if you take out the military gun soldiers, you fill up his, um, you know, dark side gauge to where he'll be able to do Chaos Blast and destroy every single enemy on screen. If you fill up his Heroes gauge, you'll be able to um, basically boost through stages at supersonic speeds and skip ginormous sections of uh, the stage. But um, also another thing, we can control vehicles! A shadow right here is driving this freaking Jeep from Gun, and uh, the controls for these are honestly pretty clunky, but, you know, it's not that terrible. Anyway, we're gonna hop out of this and finish off the stage. As for now, I'm doing a neutral playthrough on this game. But there we go. We have acquired two Chaos Emeralds. And let's see what we get. Yeah, normal mission completed, and we got ourselves an A rank! Like a boss. Not bad. Not Perfect. bad at all. You've deliberately disobeyed me, Shadow. No one tells me what to do. I have my own reasons for collecting the Chaos Emeralds. That's right, you may be the drug lord of this ghetto, but I do what I want, son. Here, do you? Perhaps Professor Gerald has done more to your memory than I imagined. The Professor? Hmm. Strange that you don't remember your maker. What'd you say? Silence! The ramifications of your disobedience will be severe. Kamehameha! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't resist myself there. But, um, anyway, looks like, uh, Black Doom isn't too happy about us not being on his side. So now he teleports us out with the Kamehameha, and now we are going to Glyphic Canyon. Uh, what? Where am I? I guess I underestimated his powers. Hmm. There's definitely something going on out there. Now it's up to me to find out what they're up to. Alright, so here we are in Glyphic Canyon. And, uh, yeah. Pretty much continuing on with the neutral playthrough. But, um... Yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and talk about, uh, you know, just my re reactions and opinions on this game. Because, uh, you know, there are a lot of people who ask me, you know... Why do I hate this game so much? Why didn't I want to play this game? You know, like, why did it take me so long to actually pick up this game, finally? Um, honestly, I really don't find the gameplay for this game that bad. Like, the gunplay isn't really that big of a deal. Like, you know, it's nothing that just makes me go like, Oh my god, this is so terrible, because it's not like, you know, the typical Sonic game that I always play. Honestly, it's not that bad, you know, you just keep on running like you normally do with Sonic, and then every once in a while, if you want, you can stop and kill enemies if you want to. Nothing too crazy. But I think where the problem is with this game is that this game has a lot, and I mean a lot, of, um, like, different stories and missions that are extremely tedious, as what they kind of tried to do was expand the replay value. I believe Izuka in an interview or something like that said he was trying to kind of make a game that was similar to Chrono Trigger to where you had different endings and all that stuff. But um, yeah, they went overboard to where you have to do like 10 different endings in order to actually... Ooh, look at this, a Billy Hatcher egg. Let's go. Yeah, nice little cameo right there. 
But um, basically what they did is, uh, you know, went overboard, and now we have to play through all these stories, play through Westopolis Zone like 10 times, in order for us to actually find the true ending to this game. It, it's just honestly really, really bad game design in my opinion. I mean, you can find enjoyment out of this game. I can see why people do actually like this game, because honestly, playing neutral-wise, you know, it's not a problem at all. It's actually kind of fun. But once you get to the missions and all that stuff, it gets really, really tedious. And one can only ha one can handle playing through Westopolis Zone like ten times. Like you can't play through that so many times and then be like, "Oh, I'm having so much fun! Like it's so amazing." <laughs> But um, that's just my opinions. You know, I can see why some people love the game, and I can see why some people hate the game. You know, it all just depends on how you play this game. You gotta play it in the way that you know you're going to enjoy it, instead of, you know, just, I don't know. But yeah, that's just basically how I feel. Uh, but one thing I do have to say, though, is that, um, you know, one thing I really do miss is that this game doesn't have epic music like, you know, the other Sonic games have. In fact, this game is really, really lacking in the music department, you know. It, it's very lackluster. Probably the only good... Oh, here we go! Time to do chaos! Blast! And there we go. See there? Once you fill up the hero gauge, then you're able to just blast through stages at the speed of sound, rivaling sonic speed. It's so awesome. Alright, keep on killing these enemies here. Um, when you're doing the heroes playthrough, you really don't have to care about, you know, what enemies you have to kill or anything like that because you're just playing through it neutrally, so it's not even a big deal. Alright. But yeah, over time though, when you start doing like the heroes mission and you know, the, the dark mission or whatever it's called. I don't know what exactly it's called. Dark, evil, whatever you want to call it. Um, that's when, you know, you get into the missions where you have to do certain objectives, certain tasks. Like right here, we can destroy, um, you know, Black Dooms, like five uh, different cores right there and take down his base. Or we can, uh, I believe, let's see right here. You can pause and see what objectives you have to do. Oh no, it's actually activate all the jewels. That's what I meant. Or you can drive off all the black creatures. Or you can just go through it regularly and find the chaos emerald and just do do whatever the heck you want to do. Not follow anyone's rules because Shadow's a rebel. Shadow listens to no one. Just who the heck do you think I am? Black Doom and Eggman and Knuckles and Sonic and all you, all you people. <laughs> Alright, so... Oh, honestly, we only have to do that. We can just spin dash all the way over here, and there we go. Get ourselves the second Chaos Emerald. I take orders from no one. I do as I decide. Exactly. Because we're Shadow the Hedgehog. Bad it's mofo around. <laughs> and there we go. Got ourselves an A rank. Perfect. Mr. President, we've received a report from the Central Information Agency. Our ground troops have successfully pushed back the black aliens from Westopolis. We've also managed to suppress enemy forces in five other cities. There's also reports that the CIA's mainframe has been compromised. We're investigating the incidents now. It is a strong possibility that this was also committed by the black aliens. Tell the commanding generals that the United Federation will never surrender to terrorists. Yes, Mr. President. This planet was once saved from tyranny and annihilation by you two heroes. Now mankind must protect this peace at all costs. We must stand united to defend our world against these invaders. Alright, so now we're going on to Prison Island right here, the stage 3. And uh, I guess I'll go ahead and do this stage and then we'll end off this video from here. But, uh, ooh, let's see. Hmm. I 
I wonder if there are any Chaos Emeralds around here. Uh. What? That's right. I somehow escaped, but was then captured by those humans. But from where? And why? All right, so here we are, starting off Prison Island. Um, this is where Sonic was actually locked up in Sonic Adventure 2. You know, you remember that? To where Amy then had to break him out and all that stuff? And oh my god, no! Okay, so now we have to hear Charmy B, one of the worst characters ever in the Sonic series. And for some reason, they just had to make his voice even more annoying in this game. Because now that I think about it, it's actually the first game to have Charmy B with his, uh, with his four kids voice actor. So that could be why he sounds so terrible. And the original Sonic Heroes, he didn't sound that bad. But, you know, now he sounds absolutely terrible. Anyway, go ahead and get on this uh, little um, vehicle right here. And we're able to ride over this green Nickelodeon sludge. Because, you know, back then... Nickelodeon sludge was a thing. It was it was the worst to be covered and all that. So here we gotta make sure we don't get hit by it. Um, anyway, though, we can use this vehicle to kind of move around and you know protect ourselves from getting hit and all that stuff. But I'm gonna hop off this one and hop onto this new ride right here since we got a full health gauge. And uh, yeah, seriously though, does anyone remember the Nickelodeon sludge? I don't know if they still do that or not. Honestly, I don't follow Nickelodeon anymore. But I always remember that how. You know, in Nickelodeon, they'd always have that green sludge. And everyone's like, no, this is the worst thing could ever be covered in. But, um, yeah, basically, Charmy B right here has this mission to where you can kind of, uh... You can basically get these certain computer discs, which I guess unlock some more secrets about you. And, you know, the military or gun? I can't recall exactly what it is, because it's been so long since I've actually played some of this game. But, um... Yeah, you can find those five discs, or what you can do right here is eliminate the gun robots with Black Doom. However, like I said, once again, since we do things my way, I'm just going to be doing this just the way I want to. Now, be careful around here, because one thing about this game is that the homing attack is very flawed. Like right there, if I kept doing the homing attack, I would have catapulted straight off the stage with that one enemy right there. That is why... Um, that's why so many people had problems with, you know, controlling Shadow in this game, because he's just too slippery. Like, you thought, you thought that, um, you know, like, uh, what is that game? Um, you thought Sonic Heroes was bad? This is, like, even worse on a whole new level. It's like, Shadow is, this is, like, the most slippery Sonic game I've ever played in my life. Yes, even more so than Sonic, oh my god, whoa! Look at this! We skipped like an enormous section of the stage here. But um, yes, it's even slipperier than uh, Sonic Lost World 3DS, which, as you all kind of saw, I kind of rage quit that game <laughs> at one point. But um, you know, you just gotta be careful, you know, it's pretty much exactly the same gameplay and engine as Sonic Heroes, just, but just a bit looser, so just be careful. Oh my god, what the heck? Okay. I was trying to grind on that, but things didn't go my way right there, I guess, so... Alright, I'm gonna hop off this because... Alright. Oh, dang it! And yeah, see right there? That's one thing. That's one reason why this game got eaten up. Because every... I mean every single second, Shadow gets hurt. Like, every single time he gets hurt, he says the word damn it. He's always cussing, like... He's always cussing. That is why, you know, this game got eaten up because they, they wanted to make Shadow like from badass. But, you know, they kind of failed. It's just like, really? You know, seeing, seeing, you know, anthropomorphic characters like this cussing their head off just for no reason is not. It, it just feels weird. It's like watching my channel and hearing me cuss. <laughs> That's basically how it is. You know, it's like, okay, you hear cuss words, but it's just like hearing something that shouldn't be cussing. And yeah, that sounds so weird. <laughs> yeah.
that's basically the best way to Perfect. sum it up. That's why it sounds so weird. But anyway, we are done with the third mission, and we are going to go ahead and end off this video right here. All right, so that wraps it up for this playthrough. So thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to go ahead and drop a like and a comment. It really, really helps out a ton. And let me know in the comments below for the question of the day. What do you all think about this game? Do you think the gameplay is bad? Do you think it's alright or good? And do you agree with me about the whole, you know, multiple stories thing? How they kind of went a bit overboard with that? Or if you think it's perfectly fine? But we'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Um, thank you all again for watching. See you all. Have a good day. Peace, Cobanermites.